create a secret hero in your own mind that helped you deal with life's difficulties? Well, yes, I, I would say that my father's uh, been my secret hero. I, uh, my father was a Navy man, and uh, as I grew up, uh, you know, I could hardly wait to be in the Navy to be just like my father, and uh, he's been an exceptional role model for me. Uh, he, he's been there when I needed someone to talk to, and, you know, until, until I got married, 26 years ago, he was he was there, and then he passed the baton to to my lovely bride. But uh, he always had that that support whenever I needed needed it. So I would say that was that's my real hero. What are the qualities or attributes of your dad and your wife that make them heroes to you? Honesty, honesty, uh, uh, just being there, listening ear. Uh, helping you through times. What is your perspective on goodness, ethics, and moral behavior? Well, ethics and moral behavior is is a basis of integrity. And integrity is the foundation of everything we do in life. If you don't have integrity, then you're going to have a rough time in life. Okay, Things are going to crumble around you. But if you have that great foundation great ethics, great integrity, as you start building those walls of life and start putting the roof and the ceilings and everything on there, you can tell I'm an engineer. Uh, and that's what it takes and that's what integrity is, is being able to look at yourself in the mirror and say uh, I did the right thing the same way that I used to tell my Boy Scouts was uh, you're going to come to that fork in the road and there's the good way and the bad way. You know which way the good way is. And if there's a doubt, you know, don't take the easy path. Captain Gonzalez, do you take a positive view of setbacks, misfortunes, and mistakes? Well, I, I think so. In life, that you know, you have to learn from your from your setbacks. And uh, you know, I try and tell my my folks and, and even my family, you know, if, if we can learn from our mistakes. You know, it makes us a stronger and a better person. If you continue to make the same mistakes over and over, then you're just not getting the picture. But, uh, you know, I think everything happens for a reason. And if you can make a positive out of a, a bad situation and get some lessons learned, it makes you a stronger and fuller person for the next time that you come up against a situation like whatever came up. Does it take courage to pursue new ideas? It takes a lot of courage. Uh, a lot of people are set in their ways. Technology is changing around us. Uh, innovations are there. And, and if you don't have the foresight to try and change, you're, you're not going get, to get ahead in life. You have to be able to, to have that flexibility. And it's easy to be secure and it's very uneasy to, to go after change, but uh, I think change is important. It invigorates you. Uh, our country is what it is because of change. Our military strengths are what they are because we have the ability to adapt and to change to the, the changing forces against us. Our enemies change daily. We have to be prepared to train to meet the, the enemy and it's an unknown enemy. And we need to have, you know, with the grace of the wonderful scientists that we have in our country, our technology continues to stay ahead. And that's why we are such a strong nation. Were you willing to discur experience discomfort in the pursuit of your dream? Well, there's always discomfort to get, get where you gotta go. Life is not easy. And anybody who thinks it is is kidding themselves. And, and yes, there's been discomfort. There, there have been the hard points. Uh, I've had an illustrious career, but it's been at, at the expense of, you know, over 20-some years at sea in a 36-year career. I was away from my family a lot, but sailors belong on ships and ships belong at sea, and that's, that's my motto. If you're not out there on a ship teaching sailors and leading the way, you know, that, that's what I feel naval officers are all about. 
Did you believe that your dreams would eventually become reality? I think I always hoped that my dreams would become reality. I probably look back 36, 37 years ago and I never visioned myself sitting in this desk today. But uh, the opportunities are abound in the Navy and in our country where that you can come up from the, from the ranks and be able to command a, a naval base that has six different installations that service 22,000 people. And, you know, I feel it's a real tribute and, and I'm very fortunate that the Navy had enough trust in me to be able to take on this position. One of the things that everybody faces in life is doubts and fears, doubts in their abilities and fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of injury, and for some people, fear of success. How did you deal with your doubts and fears? Well, I think our, our job in the Navy is inherently dangerous. It's not dangerous, but it's inherently dangerous, and safety is the big thing. When I had doubts, uh, when I had problems, you know, you can always turn to prayer, okay? And uh, the power of prayer is always there with you. So you're never alone. You may think you're alone, but you're not, because you always have your prayer. Was there anybody other than God that helped give you the willpower to change things in your life for the better? My family. My family is a big part of me. Do you experience service to others as a source of joy? Absolutely. I'm an engineer. I've been chief engineer on aircraft carriers, and my whole life is service. As a commanding officer of a naval base, uh, we're here to service all of the warfighters that, that are on our bases. And uh, when I see one of the ships deploying, going to sea, and or one of the ships coming back with the with the sailors and marines and dress uniform lining the rails, you know, you feel, hey, I, I was a little part of that. Even if it's just providing the place for them to sleep and tie up their ship when, when they're back, but that's what it's all about, service. What place does the power of prayer have in your life? It has a deep place for me. I, uh, and I think one of the things as I raised my two boys, my wife and I, was uh, a couple of things you, you owe your children is to help them get an education and to provide them the abilities of faith. You know, as they reach a mature age, they have to make the decision if they're going to do it, but the foundation's there and the seeds plant it the same way with, with education, and I think that's, that's where the power comes right there. Captain Gonzalez, do you maintain a sense of hero, a sense of humor in the face of serious problems? Humor's always good. In the face of serious problems and things, there has to be a, a calm, you know, the calm before the storm. And I think that's one of the most important things that a, that a senior officer or a chief petty officer brings to the, the people around them is to, to keep that, that sense of calm and to allow people to, to have the feeling to allow their training to take place. We train as we fight in our military, and that's what we owe to our warfighters is the ability to have realistic training to be able to go in harm's way and to be able to come back. But the calming effort of the leaders is what leads people into battle and brings them home. Who are the heroes in your life? Well, as I stated, you know, my parents, uh, my family, my wife, my two sons, and uh, really the heroes to me are all the sailors that uh, that have been around me for the last 36 and a half years. And uh, it's the reason why I stayed in this long. And uh, I can make a difference to, to one of my sailors. That's what's important to me. But there's nothing more uh, rewarding to me than uh, somebody coming up to me and in a train station or airport and with their family and saying, introduce me to their parents or their wife and stuff. and saying that this is my captain or this is my chief engineer or this is my XO or any of the positions I've had. To me, that, that's what it's all about.